What's up, family? Barack Obama's African half-brother Malik took to Twitter over the weekend and eviscerated him. Called him everything but a child of God, and I am not exaggerating. What did Malik say? Malik called Barack Obama, the former president of the United States of America, who has the same blood running through his veins, a gay snake. That's cold, bloody fam. That's cold. That's cold, man. Call this kinfolk that. The man who he has the same daddy with called him a gay snake. Now, this ain't the first time Malik called Barack that name or called him gay or suggested that he was gay. A year ago, he called Barack a homosexual because Barack wrote a letter denouncing uh, getting rid of these uh, books in schools that promoted homosexuality to children. And he even supported a book that had actual gay sex illustrations in them. So allegedly, allegedly, this is why Malik went off. But I have a different theory. Now fam, I know I'm finna run some of y'all hot. And some of y'all gonna say, see there, that's what they want you to do. To use the black man to run the black man down. Even if me and my brother did not get along, which there have been times we did not. I would not publicly drag my own flesh and blood, especially if he has carved out a place in history for himself, becoming the first black U.S. president. I would not do that under any circumstance. I wouldn't do it under any circumstances. And allegedly he's doing it because he says Barack changed. Uh, all of this is really because Barack ain't getting back to him in a timely manner. Uh, he comes around Barack and Barack only has 15 minutes when he comes to the White House. Uh, he ain't got time to kick it like they used to be able to kick it. Seemed like to me he would try to give his brother some grace because now he is the president of the United States. And, you know, there is not a lot of kick it time. Now, perhaps there was a little extra kick it time, but he didn't want to kick it with the brother because maybe Barack figured out that his brother was a two-time backstabber, a two-time and backstabber. Maybe he realized that dude got bad energy. Maybe he realized that, you know what? Yeah, this dude ain't really, he ain't really riding for me like that. Because if he was, and Barack, let's say, didn't have as much time for him or whatever, it wasn't, wasn't like it used to be, then you just keep your distance, man, and then you just holler at him when you can. You know things have changed. But you move on, you do not cross enemy lines and go and endorse his enemy. You don't start riding, see, only suckers do stuff like that. You got people like that in real life to do that, like right, right in your neighborhood who will get mad at their sibling and then go befriend their sibling's rivalry. You got people like that in real life that do that. The brother is absolutely a clown, but I do agree. Those sexually explicit books have no place in school libraries. Having said that, if I was the president of the United States and had a brother who betrayed me like that, I would have invited him to the White House just to whoop his ass. No more talk. What the talking about?